damn, that sucks. <laughs> so I've been smoking for 14 years. That's a lot. Damn. I started smoking because of peer pressure. I guess that's how the majority of the time, that's how it starts. It was just like hanging out in the back of a school in Brooklyn thought we were cool smoking. It was like pretty, you know, cliche after school special type of shit. <laughs> it started off just, it was just like a, um, a condiment to drugs in a sense. So I, so I did it because I did a lot of drugs and so it just goes hand in hand. I started smoking, I think, mostly out of anxiety. I had a lot of anxiety. And um, I think it came from situations stemming from the home. A lot of people color smoke. They're stressed the fuck out. I mean, we've been through a lot of shit. I cut this. That's good. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't want my family to smoke. And I don't want to be a smoker, but I am. And so, right or wrong, this is this is where it is. Right here, what we're gonna do is go back. say that there's been a number of different times when um, I've been hanging out with my folks and we just light up smokes and drink, you know, have a couple bottles of wine and just talk about everything. Talk about good shit, bad shit, crazy shit, shit we don't understand, um, but it definitely helps to build community. It's just easier to like sit with people that you connect with, like queer people of color, in a room while you're smoking a cigarette and it's easier to talk about like shit that you went through like for that day in particular, some shit that you had to deal with inside and outside. You know? I feel like a lot of people surround themselves with people who are somewhat like them. In the political queer scene, which are mostly queer folks of color, like we all smoke. <laughs> It's just a thing that's done. There's so many walls that you have up with people that, you know, just break out a cigarette or even a drink or just something to do. You know, they can relieve your anxiety. Part of it is that smoking provides some sort of escape from where you're at. And as women of color, as queer women of color, oftentimes, we're put in a place where we want to escape. Most of the queer women that I know smoke. And so um, I do agree that it, it is a target uh, group. I could see where we are targeted. I could see walking down the street. I could see the billboards. I could see the liquor stores like every two corners. There are lots of reasons for needs for drugs. One is media. Whether there's that one tokenized person of color in the gay show or it's all white, everyone's always doing some type of drug. The fact that so many of us smoke, you know, is not a coincidence either on our parts or on theirs. So I think tobacco ads and tobacco sales are targeted toward um, communities of color, particularly working class communities of color. And I love this rap game mainly because it's cool. I think it's a trip that, you know, when we smoke, it's like we pay a certain amount for cigarettes, but we may not eat, <laughs> we may not eat fruit, we may not eat vegetables, we may not put things in our body that take care of us, but we put things in our bodies that give us a quick fix um, so that we can keep moving. You can call my bluff, if it's not rough, then I really don't need it. I'm not even ashamed. I got too much reality that's filling up my brain. Sell me on that product, I'm addicted to the game. Suck it up like a cigarette, light it up. It's just like a cigarette. Like, I couldn't afford to go to the gym. That's another way to relieve your stress, but sometimes you're just like, fuck, I'm just gonna go buy a cigarette. Something definitely needs to be done because we are killing ourselves and our community. I guess the only way we can really stop it is through like communicating with each other. 
something that blocks you from really connecting with someone is like that smoke in front of you. So if we can like take that smoke away, we can connect with each other a lot better. We can connect, we can connect on like more intimate levels. I just think there needs to be more spaces there to support queer people of color um, and to help people build community and get the help they need. To the that we know that our lives are precious to us and our families and our communities are precious to us. And the only way that we can influence those communities is by being around. Having a lot more information out, especially targeting, tar like targeting queer people of color is really important. And I went to my GLBT center the other day and they had a flyer out for like queer people and smoking and I thought that was really tight and I'd never seen that before because a lot of the spaces that we have right now are really being developed, it's a really good time to like, to also present like these other, these other alternatives to like, okay, let's like go kick it, let's go to a bar, but also, you know, like here's this stuff, you know, just to understand. I feel like we should support each other in quitting, if we can. We could um, build networks just like we build around smoking that's built around our health and that's built around our bodies and our families and our communities. Vanish if you wish. Just go before you're swallowed up by bitterness. Intended, but we get the butt end of it all. <laughs> I don't know why that case into my head like that. It's from yourself, you hide. Just take a look at us. So we are heading for a fall. Now, presiding in this court, I'm trying to figure out like why I smoke, and in that, I hope I hope to not smoke as much or um, not smoke anymore. Scarpe D and whether the fact of war does your way Comprende the people versus You ain't your sensei We're teaching that style of wordplay We got the Wednesday Regardless of what your friends say They're all disabled And I love cigarettes Like I feel like we have a love affair um, But we do break up every once in a while Lights up Shoot dope lines first and ask questions later The death sentences of this live litigator Close the case tighter than the jaws of a gator Sonographer